Today we are going to discuss a uh, rupture of infarcted area and cardiac tamponade. Basically we have uh, started discussing causes of death after acute coronary occlusion or acute MI and we have discussed that important causes of death after acute coronary occlusion include uh, cardiac or cardiogenic shock then acute pulmonary edema or ventricular fibrillation and Finally, another important cause of death after acute coronary occlusion or heart attack is basically rupture of the infarcted area which may also lead to cardiac tamponade. So, how the rupture of the infarcted area occurs? Now, as soon as the ventricular walls get damaged, for example, this portion of for example this portion of the heart muscles are being supplied by this coronary artery and here we get an occlusion this artery is blocked and we label it as acute coronary occlusion now a lot of uh, things can happen like cardiogenic shock can occur ventricular fibrillation can occur and acute pulmonary edema can occur because heart has been damaged the ventricular walls have been damaged they, the heart cannot contract properly so a lot of complications can occur but one important complication is a rupture of this area now how the rupture will occur blood supply to this area is decreased or stopped so slowly and gradually after a few days of uh, coronary occlusion this area the muscles in this area will start degenerating the muscles in this area will start degenerating and when the heart muscles are contracting when the heart muscles are contracting this area will start bulging out this area will start bulging out so what happens that the force the force of contraction it is uh, distributed such that the there is no proper cardiac uh, pumping the cardiac output is decreased the, the pumping of the blood is decreased and the force is distributed now the normal force which should uh, be applied to the heart walls it goes out here in this portion which is known as systolic stretch systolic systolic stretch now in systolic stretch the whole of the heart muscle is basically going inside in the contraction process and the force is basically distributing in the uh, ventricular walls or the uh, muscle in the muscles or the heart walls but this area which has been damaged this area basically it moves outward instead of going inward with the contraction process in the contraction process this area is going outward and this is known as the systolic stretch now this is in the initial days and it can basically lead to decreased cardiac output because the pumping effectiveness or the force of contraction of the heart basically decreases so the pumping of blood decreases and the cardiac output decreases but after a few days uh, this area has become so much uh, weak that this wall this wall may rupture this wall may rupture now after rupture the blood the blood watch which was basically inside the cavity it will come out through this ruptured area and it will distribute itself outside the heart walls in the pericardial cavity now once the blood has come out through the ruptured area and has distributed on the outer portion of the heart muscles here we have we know we have uh, the outer the pericardium then the myocardium and then the endocardium so basically the blood comes out of the myocardium and it remains below the pericardial sac here we have the pericardial sac let's draw the pericardial sac here we have the pericardial sac and the blood that uh, get out through this ruptured ruptured area it will remains the below the pericardial sac and it will apply a force on the ventricular walls or the heart muscles this blood this blood which has come out this blood will basically apply force on the heart muscles or the ventricular walls or the heart walls 
and it will basically compress these walls from the outside the pressure will be applied from the outside normally the blood is present inside but due to the rupture the blood has come outside the wall and it is compressing the ventricles from the outside so the cavity the cavity or the space for the blood in the ventricular uh, cavities decreases and the pressure applied from the outside of these cavities is known as cardiac tamponade this is known as cardiac tamponade and due to this pressure due to this pressure the cavities of the heart has been uh, reduced the cavities are reduced and blood from the venous system cannot enter into the heart blood cannot enter into the heart and when blood cannot enter into the heart chambers the blood going out of the heart also decreases so it again leads to decreased cardiac output it again uh, lead, leads to decreased uh, blood pressure and mean arterial pressure and hence it may again lead to cardiogenic shock and death may occur within few minutes so uh, this is going to be our last uh, complication of um, acute coronary occlusion due to which uh, death can occur and this is basically the rupture of infarcted area which can lead to card cardiac tamponade and what happens is that soon after uh, acute coronary occlusion the area which was supplied by this blood vessel this is uh, uh, this is not receiving proper amount of blood so it starts degenerating and it goes out uh, with the contraction of the heart rather than participating in the contraction it is going out which is basically known as systolic stretch and when this area becomes um, weakened it ruptures and the blood come out of the myocardium and it remains below the peri in the pericardial sac and the blood that goes out that goes out into the pericardi pericardial sac it applies pressure on the heart ventricles and due to that pressure the cavities the space in which the blood enters from the uh, venous system those cavities basically decrease in size those cavities become decreased in size and when those cavities uh, become decreased in size and there is pressure from the outside thus there is little chance of blood uh, for entry of blood from the venous system so blood cannot enter into the heart chambers and when blood is not coming or blood is not entering into the heart heart cannot pump enough blood so the blood going out of the heart or the cardiac output also starts falling the blood pressure starts falling in the mean arterial pressure starts falling and uh, cardiac shock can develop and if uh, it is not treated on emergency basis it can suddenly lead to a uh, death within few minutes so that's all about the uh, causes of death after acute coronary occlusion and a rupture of the infarcted area which basically leads to cardiac tamponade thanks a lot for watching the video